Hey guys, welcome back to Monteview. Today in this video, we're going to be showing you how to create user accounts on your Monteview NVR. This is going to be useful for those of you that are business owners because you can give certain employees access to the system without giving them full admin privileges. You can also do this for daycare centers because parents want to check in on their kids. So you can give those parents sub accounts. And so that means they can access it during certain times of the day or certain cameras. There's obviously a lot of uses for making accounts. So stay tuned with this video. We're going to show you guys how that's done. And we're even going to show you guys how to use those accounts within Monteview Go, the mobile application and the desktop application. So let's get started. All right, guys, for this next portion, we're going to head over to the NVR interface and we want to make sure that we're going to log into the main menu as the admin account. So once we're logged into the admin account, we're on the main menu. We're going to take a look at the account section in the lower right corner. Go ahead and click on that. And once we're in account, we're going to be on the user page and we should see the admin account here listed as the main and only account. So here we can modify this, but keep in mind, you cannot delete this. So to make a sub account, we want to click on add that is in the lower left corner here. And once we press add, we're brought to this creation screen. First off, we need to give it a username. For this example, I'm going to use test in all lowercase letters. You guys can use whatever you want. Keep in mind, you cannot use any symbols in the name. Next, we're going to create a password. It has to be eight digits long, and it has to have at least a one number and one symbol. And then, of course, in confirm password section, we're going to just enter that again so that they match. Once you guys have your username and password chosen, then we're going to choose the user group this particular account belongs in. And since we haven't created any user groups, your only choice here is going to be the admin or the user user group. Admin, as you notice, will not remove any privileges, but give you specific options to choose those privileges, whether you want them on or not for this account. But if you choose user, then it automatically removes all of the system privileges from that account. You can go one step further here and in the live or the search tabs, you can decide what cameras or channels you want this user to have access to. Keep in mind, search pertains to the playback functions. So the user will be able to see or not see certain recorded footage from this channel. On the live, of course, that pertains to the live view the camera's currently looking at, and that's going to control whether the user can see the live image from that channel. Once you guys have all the permissions picked out, you can go to this section called period. This essentially is the schedule for when this person can access their account. And not only does this pertain to the NVR, but this is also going to port over to the mobile application as well. So if you guys own a restaurant and you don't want your employees seeing anything during the weekdays when they're not working, you can go ahead and deselect Monday through Thursday, and then your employees will only be able to access their account on the weekend when you've designated so. For marking the schedule, the squares are in half hour blocks and they are set by day of the week. So any day that you guys don't want them access to, you just simply left click those portions and you turn them from green to black. Any portions filled in green, the user will be able to access for those times. Once you guys have that schedule all filled out, go ahead and press OK. And then once we're back to this main creation screen, we're going to press OK again. And now we see that the test username is up there and we have created an account. So now I'm going to give you guys an example. If you want to log out of your admin account, this little symbol in the upper right corner, it kind of looks like a half of a square with an arrow coming out of it to the right. If you left click that, it's going to give you the option to log out. So admin accounts, you guys are going to want to make sure that you're constantly logging out so that you don't accidentally leave this thing signed in and a user is not able to access things that they shouldn't. For this example, I've given this account only access to the second camera for both playback and live, and I've removed any sort of administration privileges within the system. So you'll see as I log in and I try to go to different portions of the NVR, I will be restricted from doing anything. And you'll see this little error message pop up, which means that it's working and I am properly restricted from accessing it. However, if you'll see when I go into playback or search, I can actually view the second camera for which I have permissions. For the ones I don't, you'll see this little red lock symbol. And that means there is footage there, but I just don't have the proper permission to view it. For this next example, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like when you schedule an account on a certain day and they try to access it on a day that they're not scheduled for. So here I've removed my permissions for Friday because it is Friday the time I'm filming this. And then I'm going to log out and try to log in as my user. 
Once I do that, you'll notice it says login not in the specified time range. That's perfect. That's exactly what we want. It means that this isn't my time to be able to log in, and so I'm being denied. This will do the same thing on mobile applications, on the phone, and on the desktop. Okay, now that we've created some users, I'm going to show you guys how to set up a user group. The purpose of a user group is if you're going to have multiple employees with access to the system, you can set up a broad range of privileges that will apply to that specific user group. So here I'd like you guys to head back to the account section. So we're going to log into the main menu. We're going to click on account and this time we're going to click on group just underneath user. The purpose of a user group is to have a broad set of permissions that apply to anyone within that group. So for this example, I'm going to call it employee and I'm going to assume that all of my employees will be under this specific group. So for here, I only want them access to the network maintenance and manual control. And then for search and live, I'm going to give them access to channels two and three. So now once I press OK and I've got that saved, I can now go create a user. I'm going to call them employee one. And if I put them under the user group of employee, all of those permissions I previously set will now be applied to this account. This makes it much easier to create multiple accounts for multiple employees. And you don't have to adjust specific permissions for each account. This one just kind of does a broad stroke of a brush over all of them. So it's much, much easier this way. So here I'm going to sign out. I'm going to sign back in as the employee number one. And you guys will see that I have exactly the permissions that I was granted through the admin account. All right, guys, when it comes to the permissions portion, you want to think long and hard about who you're giving permissions to and what they have access to. Um, I have seen some kind of weird stories back in my tech support days of angry ex-girlfriends or disgruntled employees that got onto the NVR and did things like change the password, knocked it off the internet, you name it. So again, give a lot of thought to who you're giving permissions to and what they have permissions to do. And that way you guys protect your NVR from being sabotaged because we've seen it before, it definitely happens. All right, so that pretty much completes the NVR side of things for creating accounts. So from here on, we're actually going to go next to the mobile application, and I'm gonna show you guys how you would create an account there. So first off, for the mobile or the desktop applications, we do have to create the account on the NVR first. So for these examples, I'm still gonna use that test account, and I'm gonna go pretty much using that for all these examples. So now that I've created my test account on my NVR and I have that specific password and permissions, I'm going to go ahead and log into the mobile application on my phone. So if you guys have employees or whoever's accessing this account, you would actually download Montevideo Go to their phone and then go from there. So here, once I have Montevideo Go downloaded, I'm going to press the plus button in the upper right corner. I'm gonna choose SN scan, and I'm gonna go ahead and scan the QR code for my NVR. Once I've scanned the QR code, just like normal, I'm going to choose local for my type, and I'm gonna hit next. I'm gonna choose NVR on this page, and I'm gonna hit next. Now, once we're at the credentials page, the device name can be whatever you guys wanna call it. And this time, instead of the admin username, we are going to use the username that you guys gave the account. So for this example, I'm gonna use test. And then I'm going to use the specific password that I've given my test account. Once that information is added, go ahead and hit save in the upper right corner. So as you guys can see here, once I've loaded my cameras, I only have access to camera two, just like the permission says on the NVR. And then the other ones will say no permission to work on live. So again, the same thing's gonna be pertaining to the playback section. I'm only gonna be able to see camera two. So if I've scheduled permissions to not access this particular account on this day, then the mobile account would also not allow me to access that account. So keep in mind, whatever schedule you guys set at the NVR side of things, will pertain to both mobile and the desktop versions of Montevideo Go. All right, guys, for this next portion of the video, I'm going to take you through the desktop version of Montevideo Go and setting up your accounts through that. It is a little bit more complicated, so stay with me. So first off, you do want to create your account just like normal on the NVR. Give it a name. Again, I'm going to use test as my username and a password. Once you guys have created that, I would like you to download the desktop application or open it up. And the software itself has a username and a password that is completely separate from what is on the NVR. So if you guys have a single computer that you use at your office or your work, you're going to want to give each individual user a different login for the software side of things. So for the desktop version, it's going to get a little tricky. 
what we need to do is we actually have to create two accounts. One has to be on the desktop application itself. And then of course the other one is the account that we created on the NVR. So for starters, I'm gonna log in as in my admin account to my software. From the main menu, I'm gonna select user in the lower right. Once we're in the user page, you're gonna see the icon in the upper left corner for new user. I'd like you guys to left click on that. And then we're gonna create a user and I'm gonna call this employee one. Keep in mind that you'll have to do this for every employee that you want to have access to this computer. For each account that you make on the NVR, you're gonna to wanna to make an account on the Montevideo Go desktop software, just like so. Up above here is where we can set permissions for the account, but keep in mind if you guys have already set the permissions on the NVR side of things, then those are gonna carry over and we don't really have to mess with these. The next step here is to add the NVR under the employee account. So the first thing I need to do is I need to sign out of my admin account in the upper right corner, and I'm gonna switch users by signing into my newly created employee one account. So you'll see here, I'm going to log in as employee one. I'm gonna have my own password and I'll log in. However, because I'm just logging into the software, I'm technically not logged into my account on the NVR. I have to now add the NVR as a device to this account. I know this is getting a little complicated, but stay with me. So I'm gonna be brought to the devices page when I'm first logging in. I'm gonna press this add button up here. I'm gonna change the method to add to SN for device support. So once I have my serial number entered, I'm going to use the test username. I'm gonna use the test password. And then I'm gonna press add down here. You'll see it goes up to this device pages. It clicks online. And now I'm gonna show you guys accessing the live portions. And I only have access to channel two, just like I stated on the NVR side of things. So as you can see, all those permissions port over to whatever sort of interface you're using. All right, now that you guys can see I have that added to the desktop app, that is pretty much it. So we are completely finished adding accounts and we should be good to go from here. All right, that is all the info I have about making accounts on the Montevue system. If you guys have any questions about this process, give our tech support a call. We are here Monday through Friday to answer any questions you guys have related to Montevue. As always, I appreciate you guys checking out the videos. Please like and subscribe down below and we'll see you guys next time. Thank you for choosing Montevue and have a fantastic day.